Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta and today we will understand how to carry out cross-validation in random forest algorithm in RapidMind. So random forest or random decision forest is a ensemble learning method for classification, regression and other tasks that operates by constructing a multitude of decision tree at training time. It's a supervised machine learning algorithm that is used widely in classification and regression problems. It builds decision trays on different samples and takes their majority vote for classification and average in case of regression. Now let us try to understand this concept. When we are running a single decision tree, you may get some output. If we run this same decision tree another time, it is possible that you may get a different result. So, to, so it is not possible for us to come on the common consensus. So the concept of random forest was floated up. What is this concept? Let us understand. The single decision tree which is there is now run multiple times, possibly 500 or 1000 times. And when we are running the decision tree many times, it is known as random forest. Now here, it is also possible that each decision tree will give you a different result. And therefore, here also it is not possible to come on the common consensus. To resolve this problem, Say for example, we are having this entry in which we get some result. In second this entry, we get seven uh, different results. So either we will go for the majority voting or averaging of this to come on the common consensus. Now, how we can do this in Rapid Miner? Let's see. First of all, I'll go here, remove this, we'll start again. I'll connect the heart. The uh, data set. I'll press this play button. You can see here age, gender, chest pain type, resting blood pressure, cholesterol, fasting blood sugar, resting ACG, max HR, exercise, yes or no, old peak, ST slow are the attributes which are being considered. And the heart disease, a patient is having a heart disease, yes or no. So here our, our problem is classification problem. Why? Because we are using yes no categories in target variable. Now I will request all of you to kindly refer my previous lectures to understand the flow of this series. I'll go here and activate the select attributes. I'll drag it and drop it here. Now it is not necessary that the entire data set is selected for the model and we want to do the selection of particular variables. So for this, I'm activating the operator with the select attributes. I'll go in subsetting, select attributes, and I'll transfer only those variables which are matter of my interest in creating a model. So I'll select age, cholesterol, fasting blood sugar, heart disease, old peak, and resting, resting blood pressure. Apply. Now I'll specify the role. The random forest comes under the category of supervised learning technique, and therefore it is necessary for us to specify the target variable or also known as dependent variable. So I'll go here, activate the heart disease, the last column if you recall, and I'll specify the target rule as label. Make sure that you do not specify target role as label, then only the algorithm will work. Now I want to do the cross validation. So for this, I'll have to go in the cross validation window. I'll activate cross validation operator from here. I'll simply drag it and drop it here. I'll disconnect this line. Now you can see here, any operator, if it is having two layers, it means that there is a sub process within this layer. Either uh, you can double click on it or you can right click and say open it. So just double click. While double clicking, you will come into this page which is a sub process. You can see now the screen has been split into training and the testing data set. Now here I will activate random forest. So I will drag it and drop it here. 
and connect this spline and connect this spline mode with mode. And now I will apply the model. So I'll drop the mo apply model here in testing data set. You connect model with model, test with unlabeled. Now I'll go into performance operator. I have to specify. Now, when you will activate performance operator, there are many types like classification, binomial, and regression. I'll be selecting classification because our problem is a classification problem. So label to label, performance to performance, and example to test. Now press this up arrow to come in the main process. Now collect connect model with the result, example with the result, test with the result, performance with the result. Now press the play button. So the connection is missing. So that was a mistake which we had done. Again connect it, press the up arrow, now press it and you got the result. So this is your result after cross validation. Now we'll have to understand this. 298 are such cases where the patient was not having the heart disease and the algorithm also predicted that yes, the patient is, does not have a heart disease. So no and no from both the sides. So 298 are the correctly classified cases by the algorithm. 398, the person was having a heart disease and the algorithm also predicted that the person is not having the heart disease. So 398 plus 298 are the correctly classified cases. So the overall accuracy is 75 percentage. If you talk about this 110, a patient was having a heart disease and the predicted algorithm predicted that the patient does not have heart disease. Here, a patient did not have a heart disease and the algorithm predicted that the patient is having a heart disease. So this and this are misclassified cases. Classification accuracy 75% is quite good. Now you can go here in example set cross validation and you can find out which are the cases which are correctly classified. This will give you the confidence for no and confidence for yes. So here higher the value is for no and therefore you are getting no here. Now see in case of first patient patient was having a heart disease and the prediction is no so this is misclassification this is misclassification this is correctly classified cases you can also go in result history where you will get the summary again you can go in design oh sorry in result and example set yeah description and annotation in descriptions, you will get the confusion matrix. This is the same matrix which we had gone in the performance, got in the performance. Now, for more videos on Rapid Miner, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can see my playlist in which I have already uploaded many videos of Rapid Miner. Please don't forget to press the like button. You can also follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter.